Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be talking about a new set of stamping plates that I received for review. And I used them to create this manicure here, my first one of the winter type season. So um, let me go ahead and start with the plates. It's this set of stamping plates from Shaney. This is their 2013 set. It comes in this cool little box. And it's kind of one of those that's sort of magnetic here. So you just lift, lift the flap and you've got this little velvet box with this plate um, inside and this little brochure. What I thought was kind of neat about this little brochure, it taught me more about Shaney. They actually have whole lines of cosmetics and brushes and all kinds of cool things. They've got these neat cases. In fact, they actually have da, 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 nail polish. So I'm going to have to be on the lookout for that. And they've got some lamps and I mean, this isn't a catalog, but it gives you an idea. Whole lines of cosmetics and pigments and all kinds of things. So this is kind of a neat, informative little thing, which I will fold later. <laughs> so you can put your finger in that little tab and pull the set out. I just tend to just dump them out just because that's me. And they do have the blue backing or the blue covering on the front. They do have a nice paper backing on the back. Um, this set has shown some improvements from the previous set in that the edges are not nearly as sharp as they used to be and the backing is a little bit easier to, to peel off because I know you guys have seen my previous um, video with the previous set and I had a hard time with peeling but uh, they've improved that since then. So yeah, so it's a set of 25 plates. It's in this 200 series. But let me just show you how we can peel the plastic off. We just get the end. And you can use tweezers if you have really long nails or if you're worried about ruining your manicure, but then you just peel it back. And see, no gummy residue or anything. So it peels off nice and easy. So let me do an up-close version of all of these plates. You can see all the images first. So here is plate 201. All the Hello Kitties on it. Super cute. Two, two. And here's the snowflake I used on my nails, as you can see here. Just stamped it a bunch of times. 203. 204. 205. Whole bunch of lips. 206. Nice detail in a lot of these images too. 207. Here's the one that I used for my accent nails. Um, I stamped that just in white and then anywhere where the snow ended in the image I just put in with a dotting tool. So that's how I achieved that. See there's more snowy trees here. 208. Two oh nine. This one's really cute with the gold koala bear. And this one, when I first opened it, looked like it had, you know, been um, like ground even like deeper than some of the other plates. So I was concerned, but I tried it out and it actually stamps fine. So if you get some that have that kind of look to them, um, don't automatically assume they're defective. You really need to test the images because most of the time they're fine. Another Hello Kitty plate, which I know everybody's going to love. Look at how cute they are. Reading a book. That mushroom is really cute. Here is 211 with some full, full um, nail images in there. And what I can say about the size, with the exception of a couple of these, these are kind of slightly maybe shorter than a Conad um, full nail image, but they're about the same width. And there's some, the thing about this set has got like mixed up in images. Some of them are a little smaller, some of them are, you know, a little bigger. It just depends on the image. Like here is plate 212. As you can see, there's a difference in size even between this one and say this one. This one is regular full size, about the same size as say a Conad, and then this one's maybe a little bit skinnier. So you just kind of have to look image to image. 
I like that flower in the middle. <laughs> okay, here's 213. Kind of your animal print. And this one is like a super tiny kind of cheetah print. It's really interesting because out of all the cheetah prints I have, and I have a lot, this one's the most uh, unique, I'd say. And I love the snake skin. That's really cool. 214. I love, and the reason I love it, number one, I like the sparklies. I love stars, and I really love this. He love it. Here's 215. Now, see, these are a little bit like more like squares. So they're just kind of different. Here is 216. It's got some kind of unique looking images on it. Very cool. 217. 218. Look! Hee <laughs> I love it. 219. Another one of my favorites. Look, look, look. I'm in love. In love with this image. <laughs> um, 220. Some nice uh, tight detail. This is really just like little dots. There you go. There you can see a little better. Okay. It's got some sort of zigzaggy lines. Kind of cool. 221. Two twenty two, twenty three, another very cool. I'll turn that over so you can see your skull and crossbones and stuff. It's kind of cool. Two twenty four, and the last plate is two twenty five. And did you notice something, you guys, that I think is very cool about this set? <laughs> Not one plate with just French tip stuff. Thank you, Shaney, for not making plates filled with French tips. Because I don't really use them that much. I don't know too many people that use them that much. So it's nice to get, you know, more images that I'm going to use in this set. So this is a really, a really nice thing about so it. So now what I wanted to also show you is their stamper and scraper and plate holder. So set. here is the plate holder. Now this is the first plate holder I've ever had because I usually just lay it on my paper towel as you see. But this is kind of nice especially if you don't have a, a good um, work surface to work on and if you worry about the plates sliding in your hands, this gives you a better way to grip onto it without it sliding around. Um, they also have their metal stamp or metal scraper and then the stamper. And it is a small um, stamper like the one that I usually use in my videos, and I'm going to just show you the comparison. The one difference I noticed is that the rubber part of their stamper stands a little bit taller, um, and it's a little bit, like, squishier. So I think it's going to matter as to whether what, which one you like better. To me, it actually makes no difference. I think this one works great, too. I have absolutely no problems with this. So what I would do is take the image that I want and line it up kind of with this part of the um, plate holder so that when I scrape off, I'm scraping onto that, which will make that a little easier to clean. Um, and then I'm just going to place some polish on here. I'll just pick this little image. Okay, then you take your scraper, scrape, pick up the image, and then I can take my little stone here that I've painted with the blue polish I, I used on my nails, and you just stamp it down. Look at how cute. Nice and clear. Okay. Then all you would do is to clean it up is take, like, I'm using just a little lint free square and I'm just wiping that down to clean it off. And then I also make sure that I wipe around the edge so that any polish that seeped in the crease will be able to be wiped off. And same with here. So you want to make sure you clean that so you don't get tons of polish built up. But it's very easy to clean. There you go. Okay? So now it's clean and ready for your next use. 
Okay, so I believe that is all. To summarize, I will. I really enjoy this set. I love that there's a lot of cute and unique images on here. Um, they all seem to work really well, even the detailed ones. You can see I don't have any bald spots or anything in my images. Um, 25 plates in a set for the price is very good. It even comes with that cute little box, you know, that you can just put your plates right back in, like this. Okay. And yeah, so it's a really, I really like this set and I really enjoy it and I can't wait to bring you some tutorials using these. Um, I will have links in the description box for how to get these as well as the um, plate holder and stamper scraper. But that's it for this. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you to Shaney for allowing me to review this product. And um, I hope you guys will enjoy it as much as I am, have enjoyed it. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.